Have you heard of this new amnesty bill that's gaining steam uh, in the House of Representatives? Uh, it's a bipartisan bill, really cool stuff. Let's talk about it, let's get at it. All right, there is a new amnesty bill that's happening. I don't know if you've heard about this. Uh, if you have not, I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is and put it in context because today there are huge problems at the border, folks. Uh, we all know about that. We know our immigration system is broken as well. Make sure you hit that new subscribe button, watch it blow up. It's really cool. So what can we do? So what happens is you have the executive branch, Biden, and then you have Congress. Congress has plenary power over immigration. What the executive branch has been doing because Congress hasn't been acting is the executive branch has been issuing policy decisions, which then go to court, they go to court and then they're overturned. It's not the way to get immigration done. We need some comprehensive immigration now. This new bill may accomplish this. It's called the Dignity Act, it's HR 3599. It's bipartisan. So you have Representative Salazar from Florida, who is a Republican, and then you have the Democrat, Escobar from Texas. Uh, they put this bill together. It's bipartisan. And the good news is it is gaining steam. Um, there was an article uh, of a representative from San Diego, a uh, Republican, uh, who's on board, who says he thinks this thing will pass. I don't hype up this stuff, folks, because, you know, everyone talks about an amnesty. Is it going to come? Is it not going to come? I really look to see what's brewing and, and the politics behind it, right? Currently, we have huge immigration problems. We have all of our F1 students who are going to school here at our top universities. They're going back home. They have great STEM education. They're not participating in our workforce. You have a border that is broken. We all know about the border, folks. We need to have smarter policy at the border. And amnesty can solve all of this, okay? Now, let's break it down. Let me tell you exactly what this bill does. It does four things. First of all, it addresses those who are undocumented here in the United States. And what is usually, what does that usually entail? That usually entails providing a pathway to citizenship, folks. There's no way around it. It's an amnesty. If they've been here, they've been working, they've been actually, some have been even paying taxes without getting a return, then they would qualify for a green card. Number two, it's going to address border security. Really important. There are some great ideas, folks, not just building a wall, but how about technology? Using technology, drones, having CBP and ICE together, get some real security, use technology, find out Who's been here? If you're trying to re-enter again, you're going to have problems, have people in the database, make it tougher for real, right? Number three, strengthening the workforce and economy. What does that mean? We talked about the foreign students. We talked about making policy whereby those jobs that are in STEM, we keep them here. We allow certain visas for people to be able to work uh, in STEM. That's in turn is going to help our economy. Finally, and fourth, Let's make sure that the U.S. remains competitive, right? Again, this has a lot to do with technology. Foreign individuals in our immigration are awesome. They are our future. It's always been that way in America. We bring the best and the brightest to the U.S. to be able to strengthen our economy. Let's continue this through our policy and this amnesty. This is what we did in 1986, folks. You guys don't remember the Reagan amnesty but I do because I was a young lawyer back then. If you look at that amnesty, you had 11 million undocumented individuals get green cards. There was also employer sanctions. Employers would be fined for hiring illegal workers. Today, you know this, when you get a job, you have to complete an I-9 form. That was the employer sanction law. It worked, but here we are 40 years later, we need a new fix. This could be a really good way to kickstart immigration policy, making new laws, and helping us get out of this rut. Hey, YouTube family and Jan subs, thank you so much for watching Gray Law TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, blow it up, like and subscribe, go to my playlist, go to my frequently asked questions. You can get some really good content. Hey, we'll see you next time.